Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden and our garden tour series. It's August 4th, 2020, and this tomato is called Thornburn's Terracotta. This is a really cool one. If you're looking for an orange tomato, this is the sort of typical size and shape. Nice and dark orange with a little bit of green blush. They have a flavor a little bit, like when you think of a sweet green tomato, it might sound counterintuitive, but a lot of the green tomatoes are very sweet. And this, being an orange tomato with that green quality to it, it has a high acidity and also a high sweetness level from the orange. And so this is a really cool tomato. It goes back to the 1800s. A guy named Thornburn, who was a horticulturist, sort of, I guess you'd say, bred this and, and brought it to market. And you can get these from Baker Creek. That's where we got them from. It's a really cool tomato. Tasty, very prolific. You can see those monster, I mean, most of them are about this size typically, but this year we got a lot of big ones on here. It does get blight, you can see that, um, but it's not affecting these. Look at that, just that mass of tomato there. There's probably in this huge clump here, five pounds of tomatoes easily in there. And this one, almost ripe, almost ripe. I like to let them get really, really dark orange. This one is just about there. They're called terracotta because they're the color of a terracotta pot, like a clay pot. Um, but definitely worth growing. It's a very high, highly producing tomato. It's usually, and it was true this year also, almost always the first tomato, large tomato, to be ripe. We were eating these about a week before anything else was ripe. So, um, Thornburn's terracotta.